Hey, Max. Hey, you? Yeah. Yeah, what's the good? Yeah. What's up, dude? Hello. What's the good word? Nothing much, man. Thanks for doing the show, man. Oh, definitely. Thank you for having me and doing the show yourselves. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. We've, uh, we're only on our seventh episode, man. We already got Ilmac on, man. This is a good look. Yeah, man. Uh, I'll keep a few of the shows. It's dope. You know? Hell yeah. Gotta man, wrap like, me uh, shit like shit like that. The binding connective tissue. <laughs> I've, uh, since I moved out to Portland, man, I've been I've been wanting to wanting to do you know get a Portland rapper on here. Um, I think yeah, I think the Portland uh, you know I really think the Portland uh, scene is overlooked as far as hip hop, man. There's some really dope dope shit out here. I've been trying to check out a lot of local stuff, man. Like, there's definitely definitely I've uh, been digging on the sand people stuff, man. I uh, love those B side uh, cops, man. Oh, uh, yeah, good looks, man. Good looks. There might be a we got enough material for another one. We're just looking at everything we got. New album on deck. Um, you stay out here in Portland, though? Yeah, yeah. Northeast uh, Portland, man. I wasn't even aware of that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, there was um, actually this article that dropped today on Frank 151 about basically the same concept, it being kind of overlooked and the talent here and everything, about the whole hip-hop scene. Yeah. I mean, shit, when I first moved out here, like, I started checking out the, the record stores and uh, popped a bunch of Cool Nuts and uh, Lifesaver stuff and um, and the Sam People Cars, uh, man. And it's, there's, a, there's, a dope, yeah. there's a dope for the sound out here, man. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, man, there's a whole uh, a whole new wave of cats that are really killing it right now, too, from um, Stuart Villain to Ed, um, him and Laws and uh, him and G-Force just put out a... He dropped like two albums recently. It's a lot of uh, a lot of dope rappers out here for sure, and producers. Oh yeah, yeah, G Force. You did you did the green tape with him, right? Right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, no, he he's a he does a lot of whole projects with uh, rappers rather than just one offs. You know, him and uh, Ep just dropped on the green team joint. It's really dope. Word, word. Oh, yeah. And uh, for y'all wanting to call in out there, the number is uh, 718-508-9522. That's 718-508-9522. We're on the air with Ilmac right now. Um, oh, yeah. So um, you're coming off uh, Battle of the Bay 6. You had a big-ass battle with uh, Big K. And um, a lot of people are saying that that was the battle of the night, man. I mean, my personal opinion... Uh, when I when I first got the pay per view, that was definitely the battle of the night. Um, you know, I, and a lot of people were it seemed like a lot of people were doubting you, man. Did that did that affect how you prepared for it? Um, I mean, you know, it, it's all right. That that works to I think people's advantage a lot of times when they're um, doubted. It's like when you have low expectations for a movie and you go and it exceeds your expectations. And, you know what I'm saying? So that's never a problem. That's where, uh, you know, under their radar, over their heads, concept came from, basically, you know. Um, if you look look throughout, you know, my career in general, I feel like the underdog effect has been, has been prevalent throughout, you know, in different ways. Yeah, man, I hear that. Like, I mean, especially, like, I feel like after the Arsenal battle, a lot of people were just kind of writing you off, you know. But um, but I mean, yeah. even when you did the battle with Archaic, like before that shit dropped, I was hearing all this kinds of shit from the UK heads, like, "Oh, Lil Mac got bodied, he choked, and all this shit." And I was just yeah. like, really? "And then I, heard, I definitely heard that you choked." And then when I watched that shit, I was like, "Dude, Lil Mac got that shit." You know, it was. It just seemed like there was like overwhelming like hate still there, just because of the Arsenal thing. But I mean, like I now, with after the people, sorry, go ahead. Okay, no, my bad. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, I think with that battle in particular, you know, I mean, you're talking about a place, uh, you know, the UK, London in general, like, you know, they over there in Europe and everything, it's all about soccer firms riding for your team, and they go a lot harder than most, you know, sports teams in general out here. Um, but, uh, so, <laughs> but anyways, my bad, um, so I feel like it was really about wanting to see one of, 
you know, one of their own, essentially, uh, be victorious. You know, you're looking at all UK, all UK judges, fans, and everything, and uh, they're real proud. But th- there comes those kind of type of biases with uh, with a lot of different places, you know. Mm-hmm. But definitely, once it was released, I think the the internet has spoken. You know, what I'm saying? yeah. Despite, despite uh, what the judges what the judges went with. Wait, was there was that a judge battle? Uh, I, I guess it was. I didn't think I saw a judge decision on there. Yeah, there was. Uh, it was interesting. Even the first judge was like. Yo, my head saying ill mac and my heart saying archaic, so I'm gonna go with archaic. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, it was kind of like all of the judges' decision aside from Tenshu in a nutshell was like riding with their uh, emotions rather than their better judgment or something. <laughs> oh wait. no, no, no! I do remember that shit because I remember when Tenshu came on, I was like, and he said that he went with you. I was like, <laughs> that's the only dude who was like watching that, in my opinion. I mean, that's that's good because Tenshu, in my opinion, is one of the best cats over in the UK, especially yeah, on the sure freestyle. Yeah. Oh, so like, so like right now, like you got to be getting a lot of calls from leagues, right? I mean especially with being on, like, one of the biggest battles on Battle of the Bay 6. What's uh, what's um, going in the future? Do you have any battles set up? I don't have anything set up. There's a couple, you know, ideas out, but um, but nothing set up 100% yet. You know what I'm saying? A um, couple good offers for sure, but I just want I want this battle to come out and then assess where we're at, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, it's dropping tomorrow, dude. That's uh, that's awesome, man. I, I've already watched it several times on the pay per view, but I definitely will check it when it drops. Um, yeah, man, it's it's one of my favorite battles in a minute. I mean, I think it was, I think it was really sick to see both of you guys on top of your game, especially Big K, because Big K is one of those dudes where it's like everybody loves his bars, but as you pointed out in the battle, you know, he chokes a lot. So it was good to see him come like real clean, you know. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too, man. Um, I I actually, you know, prepared for when, when you know when I'm looking at when I was watching his battles, I was preparing for his best performance, you know, um, looking at like the half pass battle and um, him in ninety and the ones where he uh, where he came with his best because you know that's where I wanted to be in case he did come with his best performance. I wanted to be prepared for that one, not necessarily. Him, him at his worst for choking, you know, and, that, and that's how it ended up working out. Well, I mean, he he's definitely, I mean, he definitely rates you, right? I know that, I know that he he's a fan of you and and the source. I'm pretty. Didn't he, didn't you say that he said like y'all were in his top ten or some shit? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's tweeted things of that nature and everything, you know, and uh, expressed that. And, it's, it's, it's probably a mutual respect, you know. Uh, when uh, Rap Grid came along, and we we're me and uh, the homie Gray, who uh, runs it with Direct, we're actually talking about uh, bringing somebody out to do a little battle event out here in Portland. Um, we were definitely like, we need to get Big K out here, you know, um, get him out here for a battle with Ninety, and that shit was crazy too. But it's definitely, I mean. Mutual reached on the rap level for sure. Dude is dope. He's an, he's an animal. Yeah, man. I mean, it seems like you got a lot of mutual respect. Uh, you guys planning on doing any music? Um, yeah, actually, we already did a song. Um, we did a song when he was out here for the '90 battle. We hit the uh, the lab later that night, and uh, you know, it's I, I, it's actually going to be at the end of the battle. I'm, I don't know if I'm like ruining ruining the surprise or whatever. But, yeah, this will uh, – I'll go through it at the end of the battle. Um, so that it will be on there and available online when the battle comes out at Rat Bridge. Nice, so nice. Yeah. Hey, uh, we, got a, we got a caller on the line. You want to talk? You want to take a call? Yes, let's take a call. All right. Two What's six, up? Yes, sir, indeed. What's up, dude? We're on the air with Ilmac. 
Uh, excellent. What's up, Northwestern brethren? I'm up here in Seattle. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. I got to speak to you at the event. I had a couple questions. Uh, um, one, I want to know if you're going to make it to this Prove Yourself event up here in my city on Saturday. Yeah. That's this Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Fredo, Fredo's battle in Sun Tzu, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah, and I'll be I'll making really, my debut. I would really like to make that. Uh, I'm definitely, uh, Fredo hit me up and let me know about that, actually, and uh, I meant to write it down. Yeah, I didn't realize it was this Saturday. Shit, I'm definitely trying to make it up. It isn't too much. It ain't uh, really that much of a drive up. That's good I to hear. I want to anyway. You Who remember, uh, excuse me? Who else is battling at that? Um... The names I remember are Lefty Two Guns, Stewie Newton, uh, PJ. Who do you know? Who uh, else is on there? Uh, uh, Vocab. Vocab is battling a cat named Henry. Oh, right, Henry. right. Vocab. Um, yeah, Mike Tanam no, was battling, right? He's no, performing. Mike's been at, I, think he's doing a sh- I think he's doing a show, like a set. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yo, yo, yeah, man. I'm going to try to make it up to that, man. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, yeah, going up to it. Do you remember um, at Battle of the Bay Six, do you remember uh, when Tantrum was going off about A-Class disgracing his religion and, and, you know, basically shucking and jiving in in the equivalent of what an Asian would say and shit and making fun of his own race? And then he uh, illustrated the parallels of if black people were tab dancing, and then he said if Ilmec did a rain dance. I didn't realize you were native. What tribe are you from? Um, I'm actually part of the Celeste tribe, originally uh Czech Coast, Shasta Coastal from NorCal, but yeah, the Celeste tribe is uh, I'm a I'm a member of it, actually, man. Interesting. I got Choctaw blood in me and uh mm-hmm. everybody uh, I know a lot of people that have Native American in their system and you don't you don't hear a lot about it. So it was kinda cool to see to be, you know, to be uh, awakened to that actuality. Yeah, yeah man, it's uh, you don't really hear much about Native Americans in general at all, aside from the popular Hollywood caricature um, to serve its purpose, you know, <laughs> to keep the machine going or whatever. But you don't really hear that about Native culture or anything serious, you know, aside from stereotypes and things like that, <laughs> just yeah. because it's not a... It's a sensitive subject. No one really, everyone wants to feel good about it. You know that let's just keep this going and uh, forget forget what happened. And yeah, sweep it under the rug. To happen, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Definitely feel that. Yeah. Hey, come uh, on. You want to chill on the line for a minute? We got another call. Not a problem. All right. Cool. Seven oh five, you there? You're on the line with Ilmac. Yo, what's up, man? It's uh, Doctor Dope, Phil yeah. from Stanford. Hey, sir. What's the desire? Doctor Dope, Ilmac knows me. I worked with Nine Young oh, nice. on the nice. Northwest what's website. What's good, you man? Chilling. Yeah. I was wondering if you could uh, rematch. Hey, only one now. said what up. Oh, what up, only? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on our way to the studio right now. Oh shit! Knocking out more of that uh, Only an Ill album. Exactly, yep. Uh, Got to re-record this intro. Yeah. Who's the main producer of yeah. the uh, Only an L? Uh, my bad, say that again, kind of cut out. Oh, who's the main producer on the Only an L album? It's, it's all Chase Moore and Hippie Sabotage on the production of the Only an L album, actually. That's dope. Yeah, uh, there's like one or two guest feature on the song uh, production. Trox Diesel and DJ Epic got a beat on there each as well, but it's all Chase and Hippie. Oh, good shit, man. Are you going to get a rematch with Arsenal after the uh, performance before? <laughs> I don't think the Rebel does rematches. No, I, don't <laughs> think where I'm, I swear I've heard that somewhere. Uh, I would be open to it. I don't think he would. It's it's kind of like, uh, you know, people ask me about rematching Pesaurus, and I'll say straight up that Pesaurus is someone, if you get a win on, you just live with that, and you, you don't you don't want to put that the, the chips in again because 
Um, he, he's a quick learner, and, uh, and I think uh, if it was brought up Arsenal, even though he might not put it that way, he wouldn't. He, I don't think he'd want the rematch. <laughs> no doubt. I'm not going to tie up. He, he should just take that win. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I would. I would just take that and run with it. No doubt. Good talking to you, man. Take it easy. Yeah, you too, man. Good hearing from you, dope. Hey, thanks for calling in, man. Uh, again, if y'all want to call in, the number is 718-508-9522. That's 718-508-9522. We're on the air with Ilmac right now. Um, I, wanted to, I also wanted to talk to you about um, how you've made the transition, like, all the way from Scribble. You know, like, there's only a few cats in the written era right now that actually, like, are still around and kicking who've been, like, who, who are in that... Uh, you know, that freestyle tip, like, like how hard was it to make that transition all the way through from, like, the on-beat freestyle to the acapella freestyle to the acapella rhythm? I mean, you know, uh, I feel like battling in general, you know, it is, it's like anything else where you, if you keep your sword sharp, you keep practicing, you stay battling, um, you know, it, it, it stays, it stays sharp, but, uh, it's a constant. If you really take your craft serious, it's a constant. Uh, it's a constant cycle of transition. You know, even right now, it, it, it's constantly learning from your mistakes and your style, and um, learning from you know your opponents and uh, taking that all in and adding to your arsenal. Every no pun intended, adding to your arsenal every time, every battle. If you if you don't learn, win or lose, if you don't learn something learn something from every battle, then you're not doing it right. You know, that's how I feel in the end guys. Word, word. Oh, uh, hey, we got another caller. Let's see here. 744, you there? You're on the air with Ilmac. Yo, what's up, Ilmac? How you doing? That's a good word. I'm chilling, man. How you feeling? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, I just wanted to see what URL rapper you wanted to battle next. Uh, what, 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 what rapper? Did you say what URL rapper I wanted to battle next? URL? What is, okay. Um, you know, like I said, there, there's, there's some names that have been thrown out there that, uh, that we're trying to work on, but, uh, there isn't, well, I think, I personally think, me and JC would be a really good battle if we both uh, both both brought our A game. You know, there's a couple other matches like uh, these full these full awkward's and Chase Moore and all these cats. Every time the question comes up, they're like, "You got to battle Big T," <laughs> and uh, so there's that yeah. um, potential matchup out there. But you know, yeah, you... aside from that, my focus is uh, I don't really have another uh, opponent in mind or anything like that right now. Just want to let this, uh, you know, keep this K battle when it comes out and, uh, you know, finishing this album with only a nil and kind of capitalizing off that, you know, off of those two things, you know? Yeah, no doubt. And you're definitely one of those battles that makes good music. Uh, like, at, as you were saying about JC, he's, I mean, he's one of the hottest dudes going right now. Um, no homo. But, uh, yeah, the dude he's got a crazy he's got a crazy flow, really good lyrics. Um yeah, I mean I think that would that would be a, a bit of a style clash, but um you guys definitely yeah. both take your time to, to write out your lyrics and, and put your stuff together and you guys, you know, never never really choke or anything. Um Yeah, yeah, man. He's he he's sick. I, I, it's all about um someone that's gonna bring out you know, find an opponent that will that'll bring out your strengths as well, you know, and uh, or more push you to further uh, to really hone in on your pain game and shit like that. That's what I noticed. You know, my best battles have been when I felt like most when my pain game felt most challenged. You know. Yeah, definitely. You it up. You yeah, know, man. You you keep doing things. keep doing what you're doing, man. I you're always a joy to watch and. Uh, yeah. Thanks for taking the call. It. Definitely, definitely. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for calling in, man. Um uh I I wanted to I also wanted to ask you, I know that um 
when uh, when Grimeson was doing the Bridge City battles, you were part of. I mean, you were part of putting those together, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was the one putting them together, basically. Um, you know, I was already. I, I was like doing um, street. I did a couple, and I think there's some. Maybe I took them down. I think there's somewhere across strewn across YouTube, but I was doing a couple battles already, just one-off little street battles with shows, and then uh, Lush actually hit me saying he had just got, you know, uh, teamed up with Grind Time and started putting me on to what it was, and was like, you might as well, you're already doing um, battles, uh, uh, like the 90M Mike Phenom battle, and there's a couple other ones that were pre-Grind Time, I was already doing those, um, just because the city was city was hungry for battles and there was some dope spitters out here um and then les reached out to me and then yeah just started doing events and throwing it on the um grind time now page have, have you thought of uh setting setting more events up out here uh yeah i mean we did the uh 90 bit k you know joint um that was actually it's a Kron legacy release party uh and we want to continue to do stuff like that. It's just about timing, and honestly, it, it, it helps to have, uh, like, talent development. I know there's cats out here who uh, battle, but I feel like overall, you know, the scene doesn't really, aside from what I've done battle-wise the last few years and maybe one or two others, I don't, there hasn't been any battles out here, you know? So um, the crowd and everything it, it, it's just a different vibe, you know. They're still catching up. I feel like on on that tip to be 100, you know. But um, I know a lot of people that want another event and uh, they reach out. I just don't want to force anything, you know. Um, me is going to be right, I think, in the next few months. The, uh, the, the homie Young Nate has been hollering at me. He just got out. I don't know if you remember him. Uh, Punch Fox back in the day. <laughs> that was like the first little squabble or whatever on grind time. But the dude's, dude's out. He's wanting to battle. And there's a couple other heads out here from Sun Tzu and Mike Phenom up in Seattle to 90 and only one, you know. Um, so, yeah, people have been hitting me up about it recently. So I've actually just started getting the gears turning and talking with, like, uh, Rap Grid and stuff about having a forum to put – one-off battles and stuff like that, maybe freestyle battles out on. Yeah, man, I mean, dude, I, I mean, I would definitely go to those. If there was any way I could, you know, help with those, like with the show in any way, just let me know, man, because I'd be on that shit. I've been I've been trying to – I was really pissed when I missed the uh, Big K 90M battle because before that I, I went and saw um, 90M and uh, Dirtbag Dan versus Uno Lavos and EK, uh, which, was, which was dope, but – after that, I was just like, "Fuck, man! There ain't, there ain't any other, you know, battle events going on." I, I, I was really pissed when I missed the big K 90M. But so is 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 uh is Direct living out here now? Is like Rap Grid out here now? Like that's why I heard that Direct lived out here now. Nah, nah, he doesn't live out here. Uh, basically, his, his business partner with Rap Grid, uh, Gray, the homie Gray, he lives out here. Um, uh, and uh. You know, runs rap grid with the rep, so they go back and forth or whatever by phone. So T Rex, I don't, I'm not, I forget where he stays, but no, nah, he doesn't stay out here. Word, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, if there was a, uh, if there's, if you ever get anything cooking, man, let me know, man, because I'll spread the word to everybody I know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, you know. Like I don't. I don't, you know, not many people I know even fuck with battle rap. It's kind of such, it's got such a weird, like, sub cult culture, you know. It's hard to get people to yeah. go out to that kind of. It's a cult following. Yeah, for sure, yeah. man. It's, like, spread out across the globe. Battle um, rap lives on the internet, you know. Yeah, for sure. It definitely does, man. It definitely does. Um, I also wanted to ask you if uh, you ever were open to, um, Taking two battles at one event again. I know you've done that a couple of times. <laughs> um, you know, I'm I'm always open to that. Like people called me crazy when I did it at first, and sometimes didn't have the best results. You know, you put in more time preparing for one person or spread yourself thin. Um, I wouldn't be necessarily opposed, but I want to I want to definitely uh, 
put my all into each performance and um for right now I'm gonna I'm gonna say not in the immediate future will I do two battles at one event. Um but you never know. I might do three. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think I didn't Q P already do three? <laughs> I don't know. I said, didn't QP already do that one time? He might have tried. I don't know. I know QP always has taken two battles at, like, every event. Um, it's uh, crazy, man. Well, uh, Sun Tzu, actually, was about to battle Fredo up in Seattle when uh, speaking of, you know, Northwest events and everything, Bridge City battles, and he was coming down and doing, doing them. He was in my ear at the event, before the event. Like, if anybody knows shows, I'll battle them, too. <laughs> like I'll do my battle, a battle of anyone no shows or anyone in the crowd wants to battle. Just let me know. <laughs> like, hungry. Sun Tzu is sick, man. He's one of those guys I always, I always keep his battles, man. He's one of my favorites, new cats out of the Northwest for sure. Uh, looks like we got another caller. Let me, let me get this guy on. Sure. Five one three, you there? Yeah, yeah. What's up, El Mac? What's the good word? Yo, um, just a quick question. Um, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, I, you know, obviously I peeped the Big K battle versus uh, versus you. You know, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you know, just congrats ahead of time on you know uh, putting out a classic, a uh, modern day classic. But um, uh, speaking of a uh, uh, Northwest uh, hood classic, uh, Big K versus 90M. Obviously, you were host of that, and you know, you had some interesting reactions, you know, throughout the battle, you know, there's a lot going on, and uh, just, you know, wondering your personal take on, uh, you know, that battle, and, uh, you know, who you had taken that. I mean, yeah, 90, 90 is a beast. He came with that. What I, what I really liked about 90's performance, I feel like it was one of his more flawless rapping, like, uh, performances, as far as his flow and everything being on point. One thing, um, you know, I watched the battle. I almost feel like my reactions are like counterbalancing the crowd's uh, lack thereof, you know, reaction. Um, I felt like it was, they were sleeping a little bit here and there um, during, like, Kay's performance and everything. Overall, I thought they both came with it. Kay just, he just hits heavy. He just hits hard, <laughs> you know. Every two or four bars, he's hitting you hard. So, um, yeah, I mean, K went in that battle, man. They both they both did their thing, but I feel like uh, K, K got that, you know. No, I, no, I appreciate the appreciate the insight and you know the honesty, you know. Um, upon my you know initial uh, viewing, you know, I thought it was a, a complete body bag for Big K, but you know. Um, you know, I try to put the bias aside on my, you know, second, third, seventh, eighth, ninth uh, view. And, um, you know, 90 M, he had some shit every round, but at the same time, he was saying shit like, get tackled like Reggie, like Reggie Bush. And, you know, that kind of, like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yo, that's all. Nah, yeah, but, nah. um. Go ahead, man. Nah, just, uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, Good luck in the future, and you know, uh, you know, hope to see you stay active over uh, in 2014. Well, I appreciate it, homie, most definitely. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling in, Sonny. Uh, I think Kamai's back on the line. I think he's got a question for you. Hold on a second here. Yeah, Kamai, yeah, you there? Sitting, yeah, I've just been sitting here chilling. <laughs> Damn, you sound way different. <laughs> What do you say? I'll fix you. I thought you were just gonna come on like screaming or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, where? Uh, just a moment. I had my questions written down. I put them in the form. I got to get back to the page and shit. Uh, it was what inspired your third round versus Big K was the first one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, actually, uh. I was chilling over here with only one, and we was talking. We were talking. He like this fool is super into like. He's actually writing a graphic novel right now on some um, martial art ninja assassin type thing, and we we're talking about that and uh, talking about uh, movies like Hero, and there's a, there's a few others, but the, the scenes in the battle 
where in the sword battles where, you know, you witness the whole battle happen and at the end of it, you know, whether whoever it hasn't went, begun yet. They opened their eyes and, you know, they were like sitting across from each other and it was all in their mind. I remember that scene. Yeah, well, yeah, that's like basically what I was, what we, what I wanted to go for as far as the concept, like doing now. I was looking at like my second and third round against men is combined with that kind of concept of the battle being in your mind and uh, kind of taken from those type of movies. There's a, there's a there's a whole host of them, but Heroes, the first one I remember off top, um, just pulling from that inspiration. Yeah, I do remember that with the old man playing the tunes while they were squabbing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that movie's the shit. Um, thank you. I really wanted to know that because uh, I'm uh, in the future. I'm definitely going to be doing some angles. Here's here's something that I want to um, express. I want to say it before I do it is that I'm going to bring so much uh, wisdom and real talk and, like, principles of life and shit into this game. Because uh, I, I, if there's anything um, underused, it's some of that. And clearly, for a reason, not everybody, you know, possesses that way of thinking. So not everybody can just spew that shit and make it appealing. But just like, you know, that uh, that display that you put on in that third round, um, the alternative angle that it uh that it was founded off was um it was it was real uh, enjoyable and I don't know if you remember the vibe in the room as you were in that but it was it was still <laughs> it, it didn't it didn't translate as well on camera but I was there and it was still and there was a a white kid behind me and he said after your third he said wait how did Ilmac do that because everybody was just sitting there quiet and shit. He literally <laughs> said, how did Ilmac do that? And I was just like, I was like, that's an MC, dog. That's wild, man. Yeah, he didn't I quite mean, get it. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's high risk sometimes, you know, to go with uh, to go with angles like that. And, but, you know, it's something that I've definitely tried to do over the course of, you know, my career, especially the last couple of years, is try to incorporate more of that and just be different. You know, there's more. And I, I think that, that comes out of watching the monotony of the game, you know, how, uh, I mean, it's the same, it's a microcosm of how it is with hip-hop, music, everything in general that Precisely. One, one, one trend or whatever pops and everybody starts doing that and it becomes the hot thing. You can't you can't get by in a battle without doing that one thing, whether that's jokes, personal, associative wordplay, whatever it is. They've all had their go. Um, this you know, leads. Ex- yeah, exactly. So it's kind of the offset of that. You know, it's like almost like counterculture in a way, trying to just think outside the box and be outside the box. You know what I mean? Well, this leads to another question that I had in this list that I just wrote. And that is, uh, what is the game missing in Ilmac's uh, opinion, and what has it definitely seen enough of, which is more important? I think um, I think the game is missing variety and people being themselves, and I think the game is seen enough of everybody trying to be everybody else. You know, there's alternatives and. I understand if, you know, uh, on some levels, I think it's just like psychology in general. Like people, if you want, it's like the whole thing where if you want to change your art, you got to change your life. You know, you want to change your art, change your habits. So a lot of people just really aren't interesting. And a lot of people, to be quite honest, don't really have anything to say. So Let's go. That's what, what I'm talking about. They look at what other people are saying, what other people are doing, what other people are making and it's in- interesting, and they emulate that. You know, I mean, that's the vast majority of these people in general, and that's why, you know, there's leaders and followers. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, you want to start a movement. The most important thing to a movement is your first follower who becomes like a leader himself because that makes people feel comfortable with following. There's another follower, <laughs> you know. And that's all kind of a testament to, you know, a pe- the game missing originality, you know, and even beyond battling, just in general, 
and people almost being afraid to be themselves, you know what I mean? Definitely afraid, if they even know who they are. That's that. That's very true. That is a very good point, for real. Yep, they just emulate yeah, others. We're constantly so self-identifying and being told who we are, what we should be, what we like, what not to like, you know. All these things are kind of provided, and that's comforting for most people, you know. Hey, I got that. We're about to run out of time, man. Sorry, you wanna you wanna shout out your uh, your info real quick? Uh, yeah, man. Just follow me at Immaculate, and also we just got the uh, only an at only an ill up and running. You know, holler at us. Um, new music coming. Got this joint with Big K dropping when the battle drops, which might be sooner than you think. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Most definitely, man. Go peace oh, out yes. to singles at you know, as well. Hope to see you in Seattle on Saturday, man. And uh, make sure to check the show with Bill Mac drop tomorrow. Definitely, yeah, man. man. Appreciate it. If you make it, we're going to chop it up. Most oh, definitely, yeah, man. man. All right. All peace right, out, man. Peace.